Hi friends, this is Christian Girl. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I want to talk to you guys about my new Bible. I'm very excited about it. Uh, my husband got it for me for Christmas. And um, it's this one. You see how pretty it is? I gotta give him props. He did a really good job. Um, I've been needing a new Bible for quite a while. This is my old Bible. See how it's all ripped and faded? I got this Bible six years ago when I gave my life to Christ. And I remember I tried reading it. I wouldn't understand it, you know, as much. And um, I I don't, I want to keep this forever. I, I, to look back at the stuff I've learned, like, all across the Bible, I just have verses uh, highlighted and writing you know it's it's been a special bible for me it it shows i like to look at it and it shows my growth spiritually and um it has my look at romans i love romans and i've always liked um having it uh writing notes on it highlighting it it's always been interesting to look back and, and look at my notes look at Ephesians I remember I came back home from my first retreat ever and um, a sister said to read Ephesians and it was 3 in the morning and I read it and I I couldn't stop highlighting it. everything it said just touched me it was the first time that I read a whole book you know, and but it's time to let go. I mean, it. Some pages, like the Genesis, is falling off. Look, yeah, it's it's been a good six years with this Bible, and I I want to keep it forever, and just as a reminder of where I came from and and where God took me out of. And now it's time to use a new Bible, and this is it. It's beautiful. And I like it because it's just so, I love butterflies. Anyone that knows me knows that I am obsessed with butterflies. And this has butterflies and flowers. And I like it because my husband had my name engraved. Natalie. And um, what's cool about this, it's a, it's a journaling Bible. So it has... Um, space to write your opinions or your notes on the sides and it's also a coloring bible you see that that's the when you open it that's what it has it has birds and butterflies and i like it uh i love coloring so this was just perfect for me um so i went to the store and i got gel pens, glitter pens, metallic pens. Um, I got colored pencils with all the colors. Um, and I have had, I haven't had a, a time to color that many pages, but I have colored some. And it's just beautiful. I want to show you guys. It's called Inspire. And the first page I colored is the beginning of the Old Testament and I, I used this is when I barely had my I used my kids color color pencils um, so that's what I did I, I colored the bird red and the flowers orange and yellow it has the page numbers First by Old Testament, then by New Testament, and then in alphabetical order. So it's easier to find if you have a hard time finding um, the books. I want to show you guys some of the, the pages it has that I look forward to coloring. Again, I haven't had much time to, but I definitely want to... Um, start soon it's I, I find it very therapeutic 
coloring it just clears my mind and then this is cool because you're coloring and you're getting the word in as you color and i want to share you guys with um uh, this is uh the ten commandments it's pretty cool it has it has sketches so you can color there's like um it looks like it look it looks like two guys sitting there in the desert pretty cool um and this says on this side it says you must love the lord your god with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength and that's from deuteronomy 6 5 so remember guys he has to be our number one i like this one up to this point the lord has helped us and it has a hands. It's from 1 Samuel 7, 12. It's pretty cool. And, and it, throughout the whole Bible, it has, it has stuff like that. Um, This one says, The Lord looks at the heart, and I have a heart. I like this one. I can't wait to color this one. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need from Psalm 23.1. And it has cute little drawings there. And here's another one. Because I think, I don't know why, I, I like lighthouses. I think they're pretty cool. And it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? From Psalm 27, 1. For me, my mother is uh, someone I go to for comfort. And, um, you know, the, the, way, the way my kids come to me when they need comforting and the way I hold them and they put their little faces right here and they get comfort from me. I imagine that. I love thinking of that. When we need comfort, I know when I'm at my lowest and, and I just picture me in, in God's arms and, and him comforting me and I use his word to bring comfort to me. So, you know, that's why it says I will comfort you as a mother comforts her child. And that's pretty cool. And I like these flowers. Can't wait to color that. It's going to be pretty. It has butterflies, flowers, leaves. This one's cool too. It says, You are the salt of the earth. Matthew 5 13. And then, You are the light of the world. Let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that, I, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. It's a whole page I could color. It's pretty cool. And, you know, this is saying for us to be good examples, let, to let our lives be testimonies in, in themselves um, as a way to praise God. Yeah? Um, and this is the, the Lord's Prayer. And I'm very proud that uh, my five-year-old and my three-year-old know the Lord's Prayer by memory. Makes me very proud. Uh, I... He is in here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Matthew 28, 6. I want to color that one already. Oh, this next one is really cool. It says, while he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up to heaven. So they worshipped him and they returned to Jerusalem filled with great joy. And they spent all of their time in the temple praising God. Luke 24, 51 through 53. And this is going to be fun to color. Look at the sky, the clouds, the bird. So this is cool because as I color, I'm seeing the, um, the verses in my head. And it's easier to memorize because I'm a visual learner. So... 
by coloring the words and stuff, I am memorizing them as I go. Plus, like I said, coloring to me is very, very therapeutic. It eases me, it um, distracts me, and it relaxes me. I like coloring. And I'm already making my little notes. I just don't use highlighters that much because it bleeds through the other page. So instead I'm using the gel pens, um, the neon colors, to highlight stuff I like. This one's cute, be humble. And you, I don't know if you could see, but my pen is glittery. I don't know if you could see. Um, we got the birdie. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Philippians 4, 6. Look, this is cool. It's a dress. And it says, clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3, 12. Look at the dress. He who calls you is faithful. 1 Thessalonians 5, 24. Christ suffered for our sins once for all time. 1 Peter 3.18 And then at the end, there's flowers. And this one's beautiful. This is the last page. Can't wait to color that. And it says, Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. He is with us always. Remember that, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for this watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a special way of studying, of going through your Bible, if you guys have a particular Bible you guys prefer. Um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys are blessed. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.